Hello. In this lesson, we're going to optimize the ATM code, specifically Citibank ATM service class. We have a make withdrawal method, and in this ma this method, we could not test last time. We could not. Uh, the reason for that was it was doing too many things. It was printing. And it was checking for uh, the correctness of the transaction amounts and it was creating transactions and then only at the end it was updating the balance but its uh, its goal is supposed to be a make withdrawal which is basically in our application we just have to update the balance so this method and the class uh, is breaking the single responsibility principle that states that every module class or function in a computer program should have responsibility over the single part of that program's functionality and it should encapsulate that part. So uh, we're going to optimize this code and then create uh, our own code and uh, we will try to test that. Okay. So and I'm going to use uh, code snippets to save our time. So let's start. I'm going to add a new project, new project, and it's going to be a console, console application. Say OK, and just say next, and we'll just create console application. And the next thing is we want to create a test project also. Let's add a test project. It's going to be Microsoft test project. Just say next and create there you go okay so our goal is we want to just get an instance of uh, of the service class instance of and then uh, test our withdrawal method so to do that, let's just uh, first copy paste these uh, interfaces that we're going to need to use. Like so, let's create just to be better organized. Let's create a new folder, and we'll just call it interface. So all the interfaces will go there. So I'll just copy, paste it here, and I'll and also I'm going to copy uh, this bank bank account ATM and transaction utility and this VM third party transfer files so let's copy that there you go and I'm going to create uh, our own service class so we'll just say uh, this is going to be a class or and we're going to name it as ATM service and this is where our withdrawal service will happen so public class ATM service okay so this is where we're going to have our service class I will start uh, creating the the right interface that I need okay so uh, it will have just one method called make withdrawal it's going to accept a bank account and the amount and then it will return the updated bank account okay so this is the update and we're going to implement this uh, interface so let's create a withdrawal class okay and we're going to name it as withdrawal okay it's going to be also a public class and we need to implement i withdrawal okay so uh, our withdrawals is supposed to just simply uh, update our balance so this is the method and it's going to just update our balance and then it's going to return back and count simple as that so it does just a single function. It simply updates <clears throat> and uh, 
and also uh, I'm going to create this uh, withdrawal amount checking method because uh, let me copy and paste with, with its method name and it's going to have some minimum kept amount and we're going to create custom exception class okay so it's going to just do some exceptions and this was uh, in our Citibank ATM it was it was checking for the amount so in, now we will have it in, in a separate method okay and then we may uh, we will use that too so our make withdrawal class is ready the next thing is we want to call call it from our ATM service and uh, so let's copy paste our code our snippet so uh, in our uh, snippet we have ATM service which we will get the uh, create the instance of a withdrawal and inside of start withdrawal process which just does the withdrawal only this process checks for the withdrawal amount and then uh, it lets this withdrawal do the withdrawal and then returns the bank account so our code our ATM service is already uh, testable at this point because uh, we can send the bank account we can send the decimal amount and then we can uh, receive updated bank account and we can also test our withdrawal uh, method if we have to uh, in our test in, in our unit test project okay so the next thing is uh, if you guys remember it was doing also a transaction insertion here so let's do that in our ATM service and this is this will be a part of our start withdrawal process and since this is a process th the only concern is here is to process our withdrawal yeah so uh, but each method that we have is there's also one single thing this one checks the withdrawal and another one makes the withdrawal itself and then next one uh, we will have a transaction uh, registering so to do that we need just to call our transaction add transaction method and the instance must be uh, created in our constructor also but in our transaction we don't have an add transaction method so we're going to create that okay so let's add these methods so this will uh, simply create a new transaction yeah the new instance here as its values and this method will simply add our new transaction into the list of transactions so we need to create this private list and that we're going to create in our constructor okay so this would be our constructor and it will create a list of transactions so let's add the collection of generic so it knows what the list is okay and then uh, we're going to add a private list so now it knows about that and we need to also add transaction type so there you go section type and let's modify it a little bit so i actually need not the transaction type i need a transaction status there you go so this math this class is already so all it does is just uh, uh, creates a new transaction and then adds it into the list okay so let's go back to atm service there you go our add transaction is also ready so uh now we're ready to test it so let's go ahead and test our start withdrawal process in our uh, unit test in here so i'm going to copy paste my uh, test snippet so it's getting instance of withdrawal and we're making a withdrawal here and then we're checking for the bank account that was returned from our withdrawal class so here we're actually just testing our withdrawal class not the process yet okay so just that 
and to do that we need to have also our ATM uh, object okay so and we're going to create it in in a method called test initialize so this method will have all the in, uh, initializing uh, like bank accounts and it will have our transaction amount and it will have some service instance created here and it will happen in our test initialize method so i'm going to copy paste that too there you go and some private properties that needs to be here there you go and generic done and also our ATM service is supposed to have uh, account list initialization method so and I'm going to create that ATM service there you go. so it knows how to uh, return the balance it knows how to return all the account lists It also knows how to initialize this account list. And I'm going to create this uh, account list as a uh, private static list here. Okay, so let's go back to the unit test. There you go, we have our account list set. And here we are passing uh, the first account that we have, which is this one, was a balance of 2000. So if we send 2000 to our make withdrawal and then make $20 amount withdrawal, then we're supposed to get 1980, right? So if this happens, then this is supposed to be pass. And we're going to test for that, okay? So let's go ahead and start our test, run the test, and let's see. Okay, so it passed the test. Okay. Okay, the next thing is, uh, let's also test our withdrawal process. Okay, just copy paste that one. So this one actually will not just use make withdrawal, instead it will use start withdrawal process, which is inside of in our ATM service. So this method, we will test this method. Okay. And this time we're going to pass $10 and then $20 and then we uh, let's see if it will return 1970 okay so let's run it let's right click on it and run the test and let's see what happens there you go it also passed okay so what if we change it to 90 1950 and in this case it's supposed to fail right so let's check that okay it failed and it says assert are equal failed expected 1950 actual is 1970 so it returned this value which is correct of course it's supposed to return that but uh, we just checked for the negative test and let's put it positive so this time it will pass Okay, so guys, now as you guys can see, our test, our uh, code is testable, and we're happy. So uh, one more thing, let's do a little bit more adv advanced uh, method. Like in our start withdrawal process, if you guys notice, like uh, we are adding, a we have, we're supposed to add a transaction every time when we uh, make a withdrawal, right? And uh, this kind of operation will also uh, will be used in our um, depositing also or money transfer. 
everywhere whenever we do any any operation we uh, use transaction add transaction method so uh, just to you know sh the, to demo you uh, I'm going to uh, use a pattern called a chain of responsibility and I'm going to give so let's open up this uh, link and see what this chain of responsibility is about in our browser so uh, this is the example from the Wikipedia of this chain of responsibility uh, pattern okay and this is the UML class and circuits diagram that you guys can see so I'm gonna go to C sharp example and then try to explain you so uh, in this example uh, we have an abstract class called logger and inside we have uh, a pointer also pointing to the same class same type of a class called logger so there's a next pointer pointing to the same class okay and inside we have a set next method so this method receives a next logger pointer okay and that gets assigned with the current object current uh, and and then while last logger next is not does not equal to null it just loops around and then it assigns its next pointer into the last logger okay So it basically sets the next logger to make a list chain of handlers. Okay. And that's it. This is it. It's just a small class of a logger. And the next thing what we can do is we can uh, create, we can inherit this abstract class. And then now we can create our console logger or email logger or file logger. Okay and then use it like this so inside of program main we can do we can create a new instance of console logger and then we can say set next new and then pass new email logger to it so once this finishes then we call dot set next file logger okay so in our code we're going to have a very similar uh, method so we will create uh, our, we will make our withdrawal. We will have some kind of manager and, and then this console logger will be our manager. And that will, that will call uh, our make withdrawal and then it will call a uh, transaction. So the manager will be managing our uh, withdrawal process. Okay, so I'll just have a slightly different name, but the code will, will be the same. So let's go back to our code so uh, I have created an ATM manager so basically almost copy pasted this code and then slightly changed the name and I also have uh, do next there it was set next and I have do next ATM manager and it also has a while loop it finds the last manager and then assigns the, to the next manager the next pointer and also has an next pointer uh, as, as a protected in my ATM manager and then uh, this abstract class I have inherited it into this uh, deposit manager and withdrawal manager and transaction manager so I have for each process I have managers okay so uh, if I go back to ATM service and then, now I can use this manager to, 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 to do my withdrawal process. So the code will uh, look like this. So I will call the withdrawal manager and I will pass the withdrawal, make withdrawal method into it. And then uh, next I will do do next and do the transaction manager. Was uh, passing the instance of transaction manager and instead of do next, I am passing transaction at transaction. 
Okay, so it's basically doing the same thing as this method. It's uh, calling the withdrawal me uh, method and then it's calling the transaction method. But it's wrapped with uh, ATM manager. So ATM manager is responsible for managing these. And then we have uh, do next immediately coming after uh, withdrawal is made. Okay, so this is just a demo of chain of responsibility. If you want, if you would like to learn a little bit more detail about this, you can go ahead into this li uh, link and then you know try it out in, in Visual Studio. Okay. Now we can go back to our test unit test and then try to test this one also. Okay. So I'm actually uh, first using this uh, start with role process from manager. And the next one is without a manager, I'm using it, the next method. Well, the initial method that we created. And then let's see if it will work. Okay, our test method to uh, has passed and this was our last test so let's run all of these tests and see if they all pass okay so they're all passed great so now we have our code optimized more or less and then we can test it and in the next lesson I'm going to show you guys how to bring this uh, CT uh, back where was this uh, test program like uh, ready because uh, we, we can test it but uh, we don't have yet our console application working okay so I'm going to create uh, in my program uh, file I'm going to create uh, my console application and then we'll we will run in and see if black box testing will also work thank you guys <laughs>